It was on September 10th, 1945 in Fruta, Colorado, when farmer Lloyd Olson was planning to eat dinner and was sent out to the yard by his wife to bring back a chicken. Olson chose a five and a half month old chicken named Mike. In Olson's failed attempt to behead Mike, the ax missed the jugular vein, leaving one ear and most of the brain stem intact. A blood clot had prevented Mike from bleeding to death. Since basic functions such as breathing and heart rate and reflexes are controlled by the brain stem, Mike was able to actually remain quite healthy. The now headless chicken was still able to balance on a perch and walk clumsily and somehow remain alive. When Mike didn't die, Olsen decided to care for the bird instead. He would feed it a mixture of milk and water via an eyedropper and gave it small grains of corn and worms. Once word got out about the headless chicken named Mike, his fame had been established and Olson began a career of doing sideshows with the famous chicken alongside other anomalies such as the two-headed baby. Now called Miracle Mike, the headless chicken was photographed for dozens of magazines and papers and was even featured in Time and Life magazines. Mike was put on display to the public for admission of 25 cents. At the peak of his popularity, the chicken's owner earned $4,500 per month, which is equivalent to over $50,000 in today's money. Mike was valued at $10,000, which would be over $115,000 in today's money. On March 17, 1947, at a motel in Phoenix, Arizona, Miracle Mike started choking in the middle of the night. He had managed to get a kernel of corn stuck in his throat. Mike choked to death in the motel. Olson claimed to have sold the bird off, resulting in stories of Mike still traveling the country as late as 1949, but eventually word got out that Mike was actually dead. Mike's legacy lives on in Fruta, Colorado, with an annual Mike the Headless Chicken Day, the third weekend of May each year since 1999.